<laughs> so uh, Stugatz heard this idea, and he's like, well, if Hall & Oates can remain relevant like this as I descend into old age, I've got ways to descend into old age profitably as well. So what is Stugatz's idea? Yeah, I'm going to call this live right now, actually. All right, so this is live now, okay? This is a telephone number we can't give you yet because Stugatz's business practices need to run through an assortment of Disney labyrinths to make sure he's not <laughs> scamming everyone. Okay, uh, let's go with one and then just advance the takes as they go on. Right? Okay, we're going to call. We're going to we're gonna get all of the takes. Okay, we're going to do this. One, two, three, four, five. All right, very good. Kobe said he loves Shaq. He doesn't. He's lying. He despises Shaq. He hates Shaq. Kobe loves Kobe. Kobe loves winning. Kobe loves rings. Kobe would have had more rings than Michael Jordan if Shaquille O'Neal took getting in shape and basketball as seriously as Kobe Bryant did when they played together. But he did it. Kobe, say he loves Shaq. Please, who are you trying to fool? You hate Shaquille O'Neal. I mean, please. <laughs> okay, very good. That's the Kobe take. Okay, okay. with the, the under-the-radar the team. I'm okay, <laughs> there's an under-the-radar team with number two. Looking for an under-the-radar team? Flying well under the radar? I got one for you. They play in Buffalo. The Buffalo Bills. Josh Allen, underrated quarterback. They have added some weapons there in Cole Beasley and John Brown. Tiny little weapons. And they have two very good running backs. They have LaShawn McCoy and Frank Gore, and somehow Frank Gore's legs are fresher than LaShawn McCoy. Uh, it's amazing. He's 55 years old, running three and a half yards at a time to get in. Don't be surprised if the Bills sneak in as a wild card in the AFC. How about that? Yes. <laughs> you sped that up at the end. Um, I did not know that there was a great need anywhere for sleeper teams, but if there is, the gods has your team. All right, let's press pound and get to the next Cowboys take. I mean, this Cowboys situation is ridiculous already. I mean, someone, someone blinked. There's a staring contest going on, and no one's going to blink, and that's because Jerry Jones is incapable of blinking. But I imagine if I were Zeke Elliott, I didn't get a deal done, and my owner insulted me five times about the process, that I would be sitting home weeks one and week two, and I'd be sitting there, and I'd be actively rooting against my friends, against my team. That's right. Zeke Elliott, if he doesn't get a deal done, is going to root for the Cowboys to start 0-2. How about that? Um, I believe you stole the uh, not blinking joke from my father. Does he get a royalty on this take line of yours? Uh, no. Well, the next one's kind of weird because it's not a sports take. This is a TV show. I mean, this show catastrophe. I mean, like, here's the catastrophe in all of it. Levitar told me to watch this show, and based on title alone, I thought it was something about like a tidal wave overtaking a city, and people are swimming and scrambling to find their loved ones and scrambling for their lives. What did I get? I tuned into the show based on title alone because Levitar recommended it. It's a love story that my wife loves. And now I'm stuck at home every night watching a love story with my wife that I have no interest in watching whatsoever. You want to watch a catastrophe, 10 to 1 ESPN News every day about that? I mean, Jason Statham isn't even in it. I mean, there's no catastrophes. There's no tidal waves. There's no people swimming for their lives trying to find loved ones. There's just a love story with a kid out of wedlock. I don't like this married Levitard, please. <laughs> Okay, so let's just, like, go to your greatest hits. And Damn, I think we can one, just, like, whatever. hold on. Before you do this, what are the guesses on greatest hits? I mean, certainly Durant is in there. I mean, we've, heard, the him, greatest we've hits. heard him a million times. So if it's something that bores us immediately, I'm just going to press pound and go to the next one. <laughs> Kevin Durant, no rings in my personal record book. Easy pass. Clayton Kershaw, best pitcher ever. He stinks in the postseason. Chris Paul, top 10 point guard ever. Never made it to an NBA final. Roger Federer still getting it done in his 40s. Someone should look into that. Soccer is dead. Pay the players. Tiger will catch Jack. Or Friars, what the hell? That's a big line. What a barrage. <laughs> what? All Stugat's take line calls made by payphone are toll free. All other callers will automatically be charged $2 for each button pressed, including the initial numbers dialed to connect to the Stugat's take line. Additionally, each caller will be charged a 50 cent. 
cents per word convenience fee for this unnecessarily lengthy and wordy description of the fees they will be unfairly charged for calling into the Stu Guides take line that is filled with stale takes you have heard him give a thousand times. Damn, that was long. Thank God I'm charging them for word. I mean Stu Guides is charging them for word. <laughs> We're gonna make so much money then. Cha-ching! <laughs> Time for some ads! <laughs> I'll go 50-50 with you, Dan, if you want. <laughs> you stole my father's take uh, that well, they are in a, a staring contest, and neither one of them, Zeke or Jerry Jones, is blinking because <laughs> Jerry Jones has had so much surgery on his face that he can't blink. <laughs> You stole that. Well, I mean, I, I kind of advanced it. He had the staring contest, and I helped him out with the uh, Jerry Jones can't blink. But listen, we digress here. I will gladly give Poppy some royalties because I love him. I do. I'll give him some royalties on this. And Poppy has hot takes just like me.